9-11 was a uh, pretty interesting day for me. I had just moved to D.C. about six weeks before uh, the event happened, and I knew some people in my office, uh, but by the end of the day, I got to know a lot more of them uh, more intimately than probably I would have if the event had not happened. Uh, like most people, I have some pretty clear images of where I was when the first plane hit. I was driving to work, listening to the radio, and uh, it was a, a syndicated show out of New York and they made reference to it, and then moved back uh, to another interview because, like everybody else, they didn't really know what was going on. Uh, by the time I got into my office, I was working at a radio station, and there was a bunch of TVs on the wall, and everybody was watching it. Uh, we saw the second plane hit, uh, and we knew something was going on. Uh, probably my biggest memory of the day uh, was sitting there watching with these people who, you know, had lived in D.C. for a long time and had family members there, and uh, they were showing the images of the smoke coming from the two World Trade Center buildings. Uh, then they did a cutaway in the middle of the report, and they showed the Pentagon. And, you know, there was smoke coming out of the Pentagon uh, over the hill. And, you know, there was kind of a panic that went through the room because almost everyone there knew someone that was working in the Pentagon, and, you know, nobody knew what was going on. Uh, everybody feared the worst. Uh, people were trying to get in touch with their loved ones. Uh, and unfortunately, one of the people that we worked with lost a nephew uh, in the Pentagon. Um, the other image that will probably live with me as long as I can remember is that evening, uh, driving home, it was probably 9 o'clock at night, I was driving up uh, uh, a highway kind of similar to 280 here in Birmingham, and there was a stretch of about four miles where... It was lined with American flags. And I just had this very surreal moment where, uh, you know, I felt very patriotic, very American. But I also felt kind of sad that it took an event like 9-11 for these people and these business owners to feel compelled to display these American flags. And I just thought, how cool would it be if this street had these American flags all the time and not just after a uh, national tragedy. Um, you know, where we are 10 years later, I think uh, there's a, still some uncertainty. Uh, you know, I think people are still uh, afraid sometimes to fly. You know, you hear about it, people want to fly all the time, but there's, uh, there's a little part of me that every time I get on a plane, I wonder if this could happen again. Um, you know, I think our soldiers have done a good job in answering the call of duty. Um, you know, but I definitely think the world has changed uh, from where we were 10 years ago to where we are today.